you guys don't care if I'm just wearing a hoodie for this, right? Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel for my October 2022 favorites. October was a very good month, found lots of amazing products to share with you guys. A lot of hits, not a lot of misses, so let's dive right into the good ones. First and foremost, the biggest win for the month of October was for sure the Shark Flex Style. I did film a tutorial video for you guys specifically on how to use this to get a big voluminous blowout for fine and thin hair like mine. After having used it for a couple more weeks, still love it, have even learned a couple of additional tips and tricks as I've gotten to know the product a little bit better, so maybe I will shoot an update video for you guys on that. So the Shark Flex style is obviously Shark's answer to the Dyson Airwrap, which I never purchased because at a price point of $600, I thought that was always just a little bit too much, whereas this one is under $270. Additionally, I believe the Dyson just maintains this sort of baton shape and for the blow dryer app, app attachment, you have that oval shaped fan that you stick on the top. Whereas this guy, if you didn't catch my tutorial, it actually turns into your familiar hair dryer shape. And then you just attach the condenser nozzle with a quick snap like that. So it's very familiar, feels like a normal hair dryer. And then the kit that I bought also came with, of course, your curler attachments, one for going to the right, one for going to the left, a paddle brush attachment, and an oval brush attachment. So this one is gonna be for larger volume, whereas this one is gonna be more for flat and straight styles. At this point, I have tried all of the attachments. I do really like all of them. My favorite is obviously the curling ones. Um, you can see today I do have more curl that I've maintained in my hair as opposed to just getting a ton of heavy volume, but without question, no regrets buying this, worth every penny. I will link it down below and go and check out the tutorial video if you wanna see it in action. Okay, my next favorite purchase from the month of October were these guys. These are those UGG Classic Ultra Minis that are flying off of shelves. As of the date of recording, this is Friday, October 28th, um, these were just restocked in all sizes at Dillard's, so I will have that link for you down below. And Macy's, which is where I got mine, they have been continuously restocking in all sizes as well. So both of those links will be down below for you to go check them out at those two locations. This is the color Burnt Olive, which admittedly when I opened the box, it's a lot more green than what it looks like on the website. The website makes it look almost like a like a cross between a khaki and that like army camo green, whereas it's definitely an olive green. So if you really don't want a green color, ignore the image that makes it look sort of khaki and go with one of the brown shades. I think it's like chestnut is what it's called, or maybe a gray. So why are these so incredibly popular right now? Why did I choose to buy them even though I already own a pair of Uggs and a pair of Ugg Coolaburras? Well, because it's finally fashionable for me to wear my boot cut and flare jeans again, I now don't know how to wear my mid-calf height Uggs. Throughout the skinny jean era, it was really easy to just tuck the jeans inside the Ugg boots and be on your way, but now if I tuck my jeans up inside the taller Ugg boot, it has this like very clunky, kind of sloppy look, but it's also too bulky to stick up underneath a narrow boot cut, so these have been the resolution to that problem. They fit really easily underneath my classic Express skyscraper jeans that I've been wearing all season, and it just resolves that problem of what to do with the extra shaft on the Ugg boot. So I still have those for days that I'm in my leggings, workout pants, running around doing those sorts of things. These, so much easier to wear with bootcut jeans. I'm just gonna finish with the non-beauty items before I jump into makeup. So I got a new necklace in the month of October that I sat on for a while, wasn't sure I was gonna buy it. So I know you guys know I love my Maison Miru jewelry. They gift me a lot of products that I then share with you guys. This was not a gifted product. This is something that I just fell in love with on their website, so I purchased this on my own. These are their industrial pearls. So you have these big, gorgeous, bold pearls. I was a little worried when I first saw it that it was gonna be super heavy. It's not, it's very lightweight. They are not hollow, but it's very lightweight. And my other favorite thing about this is I was worried the gold was gonna be really shiny, almost like the difference between a chrome and a satin finish would be. I was expecting these to be chrome. They are not. These would be the equivalent of your satin finish. So it's almost like you have golden hour around your neck all the time. So if you like gold jewelry, don't be afraid of these bold, beautiful pearls. They just sit beautifully, they warm up the skin, and you can wear it at two different lengths without it being noticeably obvious. I don't know if you can see this here, but 
here's where your lobster clasp is, and then there's a built-in two inch extender. So you can wear it full length, or you can close it here instead, so it hangs more like a choker. So I have yet to buy a bad product from Maison Miru. They are truly incredible. I will link this necklace down below for you guys. Okay, let's talk about the beauty favorites, right? So many of those this month. So let's start with one you've already heard me talking about, this is the House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. I've worn this in every tutorial I've done for you guys in the month of October. I talked about it in my haul video, which is back from September. That's when I bought it. But October is when I really fell in love with it. I have a full length wear test video of this for you guys. I will link that somewhere on the screen so you can go see how it performs. But spoiler alert, it's incredible. It holds up really well to my oily skin. It looks like a second skin finish. And it's got good health, good health care, skin health care. And it's got lots of good for your skin ingredients in it. So you've heard me say before on my channel, those skincare packed products often don't hold up to the oils in my skin as well. This one totally does. It doesn't cake. It doesn't sink into my pores or fine lines. And I really don't lose that much coverage all that dramatically throughout the day, even when I do use an oil blot. So if you're looking for a new amazing foundation, House Labs from Lady Gaga, nailed it with this one. Check out the wear test video and I will link the product for you down below. So this one I didn't do a video for you guys on, but it got me on Instagram, Merit Beauties Marketing. Um, this is their Great Skin Instant Glow Serum. So you've probably seen it on Instagram looking like this. So you shake it up so it all combines together. And then what you're gonna do on a sort of no makeup day or a day where you're just gonna be going in with some concealer and mascara, one of those sorts of days, and this is just gonna kind of hydrate your skin, give you a really natural glow, give you a base for some of that spot concealer. You know how sometimes if you go in just with concealer, even if you blend it out on the edges, you can still sort of tell. If you have a nice uh, base oil on your skin, it almost works like a carrier oil if you wanna think about it that way. It makes it a lot easier to blend your concealer in. And who doesn't love just some serum that's gonna make you glow, be good for your skin, be a natural, clean, vegan beauty product and let you get away without a full face of makeup. Two more makeup products that I fell in love with this month. The first one, an oldie but a goodie, kind of circled back to it, is just your classic MAC lip liner. So this one I picked up in the color Whirl because it was, from testing in the shop, like one to two shades darker than my natural lip color. And I wanted something that would be really versatile. And I find that if you stick within a couple of shades of your natural lip, you can kind of use that lip liner then with just about any lip color without there being a dramatic clash. So realistically, I wouldn't need, for example, a really bright red lip liner to wear a bright red lipstick if I have something that already sort of matches the tone of my lips. It makes it look a little bit more natural. It makes it look a little bit more just like a clean edge of the lipstick. If you're going for a contrast, then absolutely rock that look. Sometimes I do do that. Sometimes this color is a little bit dark for, um, say, like the cream cup that I wore in a recent tutorial with this for you guys. There was definitely more of a contrast look there. But um, I always come back to MAC lip liners. I've tried lots of them over the years, and for whatever reason, I just think that they've really nailed their formula. There's no feathering or bleeding with the lip liners, which is always such a pain in the butt. So I picked this one up at Ulta. I will link this product down below for you guys if you're looking for a good lip liner as we're going into winter, which is, I feel like, kind of the season of bold lipstick. I don't know, let me know what you think about that. Okay, next up, we have a dirty palette because I keep using this every single day. This is the Natasha Denona Glam palette that I picked up in my September haul. I've already done multiple tutorials for you guys using this palette. I use this on days that I'm not filming. It's easy to use. I mentioned in the haul video and in those tutorials, instead of naming the colors, and this was my first Natasha Denona palette, by the way, so I don't know if they're all like this. I'm kind of assuming they are. But instead of naming the colors, just something catchy and, you know, quaint, she just says center eyelid, outer eyelid, center eyelid. She just tells you where each of these colors is going to look best when you apply it. And for somebody like me who's not a professional makeup artist but does like to create attractive makeup looks, having that extra little bit of instruction is just really helpful. On top of that, these shadows are incredible to work with. They're extremely blendable. Um, they melt together really, really easily. 
you do always, I feel like, need to be using the right brushes for your eyes, which I have another video coming for you guys about that since I have those smaller, slightly hooded, deeply set eyes. But these shadows really blew me out of the water more than any shadows that I have purchased in recent memory. So I will link this palette down below. I'm picking up another one, hopefully if it doesn't sell out at the Sephora VIB sale, but Natasha Denona across the board, highly recommend. Okay, so those were all of the just sort of one-off amazing products that I got my hands on in the month of October. Something that was delivered in the month of October that I talked about on my Instagram that I am super excited about, cannot wait to get into it, but wanted to recommend to you guys before it sells out for the season, this guy right here. So this is the Beauty Advent Calendar from Space NK. It is a 25 day countdown to Christmas Beauty Advent Calendar. Okay, so there's the inside of it. All of these beautiful, brightly colored and numbered drawers and boxes that we are gonna pull out once per day through the month of December leading up to Christmas. And I know these advent calendars have been made kind of gimmicky almost by influencers over the years. The reason that I like it and why I gift them when I can and why I buy myself one every year is because let's face it, as an adult, you're kind of expected to just get yourself the things that you want for Christmas and most people aren't going out of their way to come up with something that's just designed to make you feel special all season long. And I feel like this is a great way to sort of give yourself a little gift, a little pick-me-up every day for the month of December, pretty much. So this is the first year I've done Space NKs, but I'm very excited about it. Historically, I have done the Look Fantastic US Advent Calendar. Those ones are very good too. The reason I didn't do that one this year is I started noticing some repeats in the products and I wanted to try something totally different. But if you've never done one before, Look Fantastic is a little more affordable than the Space NK and I do recommend it if you, again, haven't already been doing it for, past, for the past couple years with them. So I will put their calendar in a link down below as well. Okay, and that's gonna wrap it up. Don't wanna take any more of your time. If you liked any of the things that you saw here today, as I've mentioned, everything is linked down below. Thank you so much for taking the time and choosing to watch the video today. Click subscribe, share the video, tell me about yourself in the comments down below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.